It is a blast from the past, but now it needs a blast of cash to help keep the doors open. New tonight, Fox 28 reporter Ben Garbrick is live at the Grandview Theater with why the theater's owners say they need some help. Ben? Well, Yolanda, the theater's owners say they need a new projector as more films are released digitally. They say they've tried to selling more popcorn, but now they're asking for donations to keep this place open. The Grandview Theater has been running for nearly 90 years on Grandview Avenue. For David Nedro, running this place is a dream come true. We had always wanted the, the little single screen theater. That was one of those kind of dream jobs things, if you could do what you wanted to do. And uh, there aren't that many of them left. Getting a movie onto the screen here is not an easy process. Fortunately, with this type of setup, you only have to do this once. David has to string miles of film through multiple machines. And that's pretty much it. But not all filmmakers are even using film anymore. Instead of your films coming in on 2,000 foot reels on like six or seven of those, you get a single hard drive that you plug into. That requires a new projector that could cost roughly 50 grand. So they're not fancy projectors, but they got the job done. David is hoping a few loyal fans of the theater will help him with the upfront cost to get that new projector, about $10,000. If they can't come up with the money, they may have to think about closing for good. The problem is, is that comes with a significant cost because you're replacing everything you have with the exception of your sound system if you're lucky. <laughs> and so um, it's an expensive proposition. They're hoping they'll be able to raise enough money to give this story a happy ending. And we put the information on where to go to donate on our website. And there are some perks if you decide to donate, including some free popcorn for a small donation. Live in Grandview Heights, I'm Ben Garber, Fox 28 News.